Hello, my name is Mac Wilson from The Current from Minnesota Public Radio, and I have some special guests over the internet today. I am chatting with Dirty Projectors. David, Maya, and Felicia, thank you for joining me today. Thank Good you. Good to be here. Thanks for having us. So, so this is the point of the interview when I'm usually like, hey, so Dirty Projectors, uh, they have a new record out right now. But it, actually, you are two-fifths of the way through your release schedule for the year 2020 and perhaps beyond. So the format for the new music that you are releasing is a series of EPs where each member of the band takes lead vocals on a respective EP. And we've had two of them out so far, Windows Open featuring the voice of Maya and Flight Tower with the voice of Felicia. So how long has this plan been in the works? And I guess, to what extent was it disrupted by the, you know, the ongoing pandemic crisis that we've got? It, uh, the pl it's hard to say how long the plan has, has been in the works. Uh, it kind of emerged organically out of uh, the experience of putting uh, the, the touring together uh, for the Lamplet Pros record. I don't know if it's been disrupted by the by the pandemic. The touring that we were going to do around it has been disrupted, but um, it's actually been kind of nice to to have something to share uh, in this in this period. I do you feel like the the energy and the momentum the the energy that we get from putting things out into the world has been changed a bit from what it normally is. But it, I agree, it is nice to have things to to share with the world right now. So as you've got these uh, EPs recorded, do you have everything basically recorded and in the can and ready to go? Or are you still tinkering with these songs uh, virtually as uh, these EPs are coming out? They're pretty much done at this point. It's pretty much, it's pretty much locked. There are still things that... Uh, that I'm like letting settle a little bit, um, but uh, but yeah, for the most part they're good. Videos we're still working on, um, which is a crazy process in in the pandemic. Um, but um, and you know, album art and and things like that are still very much uh, like things that we're working on. On, on a musical level, it's pretty together at this point. David, a few minutes ago, you were talking about Lamplit Pros, and that, if I've got the chronology right, that came out in the summer of 2018. And I remember uh, you played at Eau Claire that summer, and uh, you were out in the woods doing the performance on stage, and you said something like, oh yeah, the new record is out next week so that's how I, I sort of put those together in my head let's go back to that summer of 2018 when you were playing in the woods it it uh, it was sort of it seemed like a pop-up performance like oh yeah go see uh, dirty projectors playing out in uh, the middle of the forest uh, was were you as sort of surprised by the setup of that as the rest of us seemed to be or did you have a little bit of heads up I didn't know. No, I think that was all coming together pretty spontaneously, the festival that year. And I loved the spirit, the kind of like improvisational spirit of the festival that year. I really enjoyed it. And to play in the woods like that, it reminded me of like, kind of like, you know, early days playing shows right when, when I was first starting out as Dirty Projectors. It, it was like a wonderful... It was a wonderful show. I, yeah, so so memorable. So as, as you're thinking about the sort of the unusual and yet familiar setup of doing that, did that prepare you in any way for, you know, having to do basically an album cycle and working out arrangements and stuff over the internet? Like even you and I chatting right now, we're doing this over, you know, internet rather than in person and it's we are all sort of adapting to it on the fly so i guess did that prepare you for that at any point um life is an improvisation you know uh we're we're learning we're learning every day we're it's cool that we're trying new stuff um 
I wouldn't draw a, a through line between this that specific show in the in the woods in Eau Claire and and this experience of like rearranging these songs in quarantine exactly. But maybe in in that it one thing that both of these situations require is a sense of the song as uh, plastic, something that's changeable um, and adaptable to different circumstances. For me, that's like something that I, that's an ideal for a song, that it can live in a number of different arrangements, you know, it can live in a number of different styles um, and in other, you know, in, in, in different singers' voices and things like that. So, I love that. So, David, you are the uh, the most consistent, long-standing member of Dirty Projectors, and Maya and Felicia are relative newcomers into the fold, as each of you have taken uh, lead vocals over the course of an entire EP. And as this pandemic has come, do you feel like it's disrupted the momentum of uh, basically being assimilated into the band, or do you feel like you're able to connect with each other on a regular, consistent basis that has allowed you to stay sharp? I mean, it's definitely a, a bizarre, a bizarre year to release music, but I think it's actually been nice in like an internet age since we're all stuck at home and mostly like isolated. It's an, it's nice that we can connect to listeners and fans for the first time, like receiving messages and kind words and hearing from people who are enjoying you know the different eps um so it's not it's not so bad i think it's a nice way of connecting with people while we're all separate i don't i feel like i mean we toured what it, what felt like for two solid years with the band i mean the, the three new members which is felicia Kristen, and i and i feel like in that time we really formed and solidified as a close family and so i don't feel like this is creating a break in that i mean i i still feel like we're all closer than ever but it is definitely strange to be putting music out into the world in a time when you can't actually like be physically engaged with it I, I love to play shows and I love to tour and I do feel like that that's definitely it's like I feel it in my body like that's missing it's like what's missing from this experience it's like being able to play the music all together in one room because it really is a special kind of magic yeah it will be so well, nice well, we are going to take <laughs> sorry <laughs> We'll, we'll chop that together. I didn't mean to talk over you, Felicia. Felicia, you can go ahead and uh, go with where you uh, were going with that. Um, I was just going to say it will be so nice when we can finally play together again. I think like I'll be way too excited and we'll just, you know, erupt with energy. I, I like, I dream. I dream of the first time we can play again. <laughs> It'll be really nice. Well, we are going to take a trip back to happier times when you were able to be performing together. So we're going to hear uh, three songs that you cut together, including a, a, a version of Overlord, which we've heard on The Current. And we're going to hear Lose Your Love. It is Dirty Projectors on The Current. Perspective 
Kissing the drop says every river we go Picked up where we left off Why would I worry? I'd rather give you my own I never wanna lose your love I never wanna let you down
That is a performance from Dirty Projectors. They uh, took the time to record some acoustic versions of some tunes on the breeze, Overlord, and Lose Your Love. I am Mac Wilson. I am joined by David Longstreth, Maya Friedman, and Felicia Douglas. Thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to chat about what's up. And hey, we're two-fifths of the way through your recording schedule, or release schedule, I should say. So we have three more EPs to look forward to. Do you plan to have them all out by the end of the year? Um, you know, I think we're kind of like watching the, watching the wheels. Um, we're in terms of like, uh, releasing music with Domino. Um, this is, I think the sixth thing that Dirty Projectors has put out with, with Domino Records. And for the first time, we're just, we're kind of jamming. It's, it's improvising. We kind of, um, talk at the beginning of the week and we say, oh, like, what are we going to do this week? So... In all honesty, I I don't I don't know, I don't know how how exactly we're gonna play, play it out. Well, whenever I feel, it comes out, we're looking, looking, looking forward to it. Thank you. I feel like it's a little it's a it's a it's an exciting dynamic because normally, um, you know, and, and working with Domino is is incredible. Like one of the coolest record labels, probably the coolest one out there. Um, and normally they're so, you know, they have it down to a little bit of a science. It's very organized in terms of, you know, what come, what should come out where, and they want to have a lot of that stuff locked in five or six months in the future. And so to be working this way with them now, where we're figuring things out, you know, week of, or, or two weeks, two weeks out is like it's i think it's keeping us all on our toes it's a new way of working and it's it's really exciting well dirty projectors maya felicia david thank you for taking the time today and we'll uh, catch up real soon like you said you look forward to playing these songs live together at in the near future and we look forward to whenever that may be thank you again for joining us today thank, thank you. you thank thanks you for having us. thanks so much Mac, uh, it was awesome to talk to you. Thank you. Take care.